stylist and a blogger and today in this video I am showing you how I like to put in my Halo Couture extensions, how I like to style them and also how I like to curl them as well as my own hair using a flat iron. So if you are interested in watching the rest of this video just stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with my dry shampoo on my day two hair. I am using the IGK First Class Dry Shampoo. I applied that on my roots, left it on for five minutes before rubbing it in. Then I applied my Redken Iron Shape Heat Protectant onto my mids and ends. Then I'm going in with my Pretty in a Minute one and a half inch flat iron to create these waves. You can use a one inch flat iron if you want to. Personally, I feel like since my hair is longer and since I'm using my extensions as, as well, it is easier just to use a bigger flat iron, but you use it the same way you would use a one inch flat iron. So I started off with um, sectioning off right above my ears and then clipping the rest of my hair up with an alligator clip. Then I'm just going through and brushing through the section and then I divide each piece into two different sections. I feel that it's a little bit easier to work through. Then I'm just going in about two inches, two to three inches from where um, my hair starts from and then I just rotate it once and I hold it for just a second and then I just pull through the ends. I typically don't curl all of the ends just because I feel that it gives it a little bit more of a beachier look. However, I am going in with extensions after this and so I do like to curl my ends a little bit more than normal just so they blend in with my extensions a little bit better. So with my flat iron, I have it on the medium heat setting or mine has degree setting so I have this on about 385. And since I have my heat protectant in there, it helps it a lot so that way my hair is not going to get fried off by using the flat iron, which is fabulous. And then, so I'm just going in section by section, and the bigger sections you take, the looser the curl will be. If your hair has a harder time holding curl, you will want to take smaller sections and go a little bit slower. Um, I recommend starting off at a lower heat and just kind of working your way up and seeing what your hair needs and kind of what it is used to. And so you don't want to go in with the highest setting by any means. You do not want to damage your hair with heat. Um, always make sure that you're using a heat protectant. It makes a really big difference. Um, normally with this, what I'm doing right now is I'm curling the very back section of this particular section. And then I always like to kind of throw it behind my shoulder just because I feel that I don't have to then worry, oh, did I curl this piece? Did I leave that piece out? Then I feel like it's a little bit easier to know what I've already done is just to throw it behind my shoulder. Wish I would have done that right there, but oh well. So just going in and curling each section. You do not want to comb through them at first. You want to let them kind of cool down before you run your fingers through them. If your hair tends to hold curl pretty well, you can run your fingers through them if you would like to. Personally, my hair is a pansy and it really hates to hold curl, so I feel that the best way for me is to run my fingers through it after I am completely done with my hair and after I have let it sit for just a second. Um, so with each section, it kind of depends on how many individual sections you will take within that section. Um, personally, when I am not putting my extensions in, I tend to just part my hair down the middle like normal and then I just go through, divide my hair into, in half and I don't even section it off like this. But I find that when I am wearing my extensions, I have to be a little bit more thorough in how I am curling my hair just because I go through and I curl all of my extensions prior to putting them in my hair. And I feel that if I curl my hair the exact same way I curl the extensions, that they tend to blend quite a bit more, I guess quite a bit better. So I am now on the final section of my hair. So just to kind of run through what I have done, or I guess how I've curled with my flat iron so far, because I know a lot of you guys think it is very confusing to, you know, curl with a flat iron or maybe even curl with a bigger flat iron. So with this and another uh, quick little tip with that, Notice how my hair isn't 100% straight. You honestly, if you're curling your entire head 
like this. You don't necessarily need to go through and straighten your hair. If, however, you have lots of really fuzzy or frizzy pieces, going in and just kind of softly running your straightener over them will really help to kind of make sure that your curl is gonna look and feel really, really smooth and soft. So, um, since my hair, I had blow dried it the day before and my hair is naturally a fro. And so it doesn't stay straight very easily. Huh, what a surprise. And so it was already pretty smooth. And so um, I didn't need to necessarily, necessarily take that step. But if you do, just kind of softly run over it, but not like you're actually trying to make it straight or it'll be a lot harder to curl. Um, but then, so you're going to want to um, put the flat iron on and then you're going to want to rotate it one time, hold it there for just a second and slowly pull down. You can leave the ends out if you want to. I typically just do that and then I just kind of straighten the end, just kind of in one fail swoop. Or um, I do find it's a little bit easier if you curl everything and then you just kind of go through and straighten the ends right like all together. I feel like it's a little bit more fast to do it that way. Um, but yes, you can rotate your flat iron more than once if you feel like it's a little bit easier. But honestly, I feel that rotating it just once tends to work for me. The more you rotate it, the more you're going to feel a little bit um, twisted up while doing it. And it tends to like pull your hair a little bit more just because it is a little bit tighter. So I recommend starting off with just doing one rotation and seeing how you like that. If your hair has trouble holding curl, you can by all means rotate this second time and it'll get a little bit tighter. And so with this, the size of sections that I'm taking, they're pretty medium size sections, I would say. I tend to just kind of part downwards and just kind of split that off and then take that section. And um, pretty much all the sections I do going away from my face, just because my hair doesn't hold curl very well. And so if I rotate the different directions of the different curls, I notice that when I run my fingers through or run a brush through it at the end, if I have too many curls going different directions, then they kind of tend to pull each other out more. So I always recommend kind of doing um, mostly everything the same direction, but I always make sure that the pieces right around my face are going to be facing the other direction. So that way I don't have any weird pieces that are hanging in my eyes at all. So. Now going with this piece, I am just rotating that last piece, just kind of softly pulling that through. Then you'll see as I'm kind of pulling that out. And what you can do um, is you can kind of twist up the curls just to kind of loop them back around again. If you feel that they didn't, you know, pull out as nicely as mine did, haha. Uh -huh. Um, but then, kind of going with this, I'm going in and flat ironing my ends a little bit just to kind of smooth them out. I love to do this because I feel like it creates more of a beachier look. And this way my ends look a lot more smooth, so that way when I put the extensions in, they blend really, really seamlessly, which is nice. Then I'm going in and just running my fingers through just to kind of break up the curls and just to kind of see how they look. I always do this and then I kind of go through and I make sure that there's no like weird random pieces that I may have missed or did something different with that I shouldn't have. So I'm just kind of going through and piecing this. If I were to just be leaving that, then I would just um, hairspray and go from there. But since I'm putting my extensions in, this is the fun part. <laughs> so I am going in and I am parting my hair off like I'm putting my halo in. I like to put my halo back a little bit farther just because I feel that it puts less pressure on my head kind of the farther I put it back and so I'm just sectioning that off you can either put the halo in and then kind of um, pull the hair out from underneath it but I prefer to do it this way so I'm going in with my halo it has an adjustable um, fish line wire and I just have mine on the second setting on both sides and my halo is custom color to match my hair and so it came lighter, but I colored it darker because why not? And so then I'm going in and I am placing that wire right at that top point. And don't worry, we will fix this just to make sure that it's actually gonna look decent. So after I've put that in, 
and make sure it is secure. I'm just gonna tight down my hair and I'm just going to pull that over everything. And then I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm just gonna brush through the top just to make sure that my wire is hidden and just brush out just to make sure that there is no hair like where it shouldn't be. And then I'm going to go in and I'm gonna part my hair. Keep in mind, I, are, I curled my extensions prior to putting them in. Just, I curled them the exact same way I curled my hair, just so when I put them in, they were gonna be facing a different direction and looking all funny. So then I just put them in, and honestly, I love the way that they look. My hair naturally, well I guess not naturally, but my hair is more blunt, and so I don't really have layers or a lot of texture in my hair just because I like my hair to look nice and thick regardless of if I'm wearing extensions or not. And so um, I just have to kind of go in and blend in some of those underneath pieces just to make sure that they aren't gonna be sticking out weird and funny. And so now what I'm just doing is I'm just going through and making sure all the curls are blending together the way that I want them to and make sure they're not going random weird directions. Then I'm just gonna go in and flat iron all of my ends together just to make sure that they are all gonna look nice and kind of even. And I always like to grab some of my hair as well as some of the extension hair and just kind of either curl them together or just kind of straighten the ends together so that way the straight parts don't start at different points. They all kind of, it goes together really nicely. So I am just finishing off this side. It looks so nice and pretty. This lighting makes it look so shiny. I'm so happy Also, I did it. want to mention, with the dry shampoo that I used before, I used the IGK Direct Flight Dry Shampoo. I personally love that dry shampoo. It absorbs really, really nicely. And if you have lots of problems with your hair being oily, I recommend spraying that in and letting it sit for about three to five minutes before rubbing it in. This allows it to absorb more of the oil and so that way it lasts longer. And honestly, I only have to use dry shampoo about once a week just because it tends to last really well if I am letting it sit on there for a few minutes before I run my fingers through it. And I always tend to kind of rub it in with my fingers and then use a comb and just kind of brush it through as well so that way it's kind of getting all throughout and not just right where I sprayed it. So this is how my hair is looking. It is nice and pretty. I love that I have the different dimensions in my hair. I feel like it really helps with the extensions a lot. So this is my Amika dry conditioner. If you haven't heard of dry conditioner, you really need to get on the bandwagon because it is a lifesaver. It just makes my hair feel so incredibly soft. And I spray that on my mids and my ends. Then I'm going into my Redken Shine Flash. This is a really, really lightweight, I wouldn't even call it a hairspray, but I love it just because it adds a lot of shine. I really do not like my hair to feel dry or have lots of texture to it. So I just spray that through my mids and my ends just to kind of help hold it and give it some shine. Then I'm going in with my favorite Argon oil. It's by Matrix. It's their exquisite oil. And I'm putting that just oh, like about one and a half pumps through my mids and my ends just to kind of help decrease the frizziness between my hair and the extensions and just to make sure that they are all nice and happy. So if you guys enjoyed this, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. This was so fun for me to show you. I am so excited to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a good one.